Mountains. Come yeah. out here in the street and look at this. This is the Raspberry Building. My uncle bought this building many years ago, and he was the first person to do a big restoration on it. The building was built in the early 20th century, 4,000 square feet. The apartment actually has two bedrooms, one and a half bath, and it's listed for $230,000. That's for the entire building. I feel like the exterior is freshly painted. You could save a lot of money if you just leave it the way it is. I like the location. Well, let's go see the inside. Yeah. Zeus, you want to lead the way? Come on. Ah! How's he handling the stairs? This kitchen was done by Mallory and Jim when they first got married. The best sunlight through those windows. The, the sun sets right over there. Yeah. I love, I love the lighting. Yeah. yeah. I think it would be cool if we took down the upper cabinet, mix it up, get new appliances, something stainless. Really, like this is more than adequate for my needs, you know. It's got cereal storage and a milk cooler, so I mean, Like the way it is. The way it is. Wait, are you saying like you just wouldn't want to do the kitchen at all? I personally probably wouldn't. <laughs> Let's go show Michael where he would sleep. Yeah, more Excellent. stairs, but it's the coolest part Come of the on, building. Boy. In terms of style, I'm looking for maybe something not necessarily modern or contemporary, but just something clean and slick. I think it's kind of surprising how much space there is up here. A lot of light, it's a big space. Yeah. yeah, good windows. It's very lofty, which is cool. And I think that's like in line with your taste. That is absolutely, yeah. It's just got this issue where there's not any right angles anywhere. Just because nothing's right doesn't mean it's wrong though. That's, That's true. You are an architect. We can tell you what we would recommend. I think you make this your entire like bedroom suite. We get rid of these walls and we add some sort of wall for separation so you have bedroom on that side facing the windows. Something that allows the light to still transfer. Wood slats possibly. We can integrate modern built-in cabinets for storage, and then we can make the half bath into a full bath. Expand yeah. this and direction. expand this and just maybe put yeah. the shower right there. With all the light, I think a, a frosted box could look potentially really cool right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, especially at night. Yeah. So you'd be 330,000 all in on it. What do you think okay. about the, the Raspberry building? Yeah. A lot of potential, a lot yeah. of potential. Do you like this location? Love the location. Sweet, that's the other building we want to show you. First building was really exciting, really liked it. They said the next one is really cool, so I, I, I'm really excited about seeing it. So we all know the Robison Tire building. I actually used to want to buy the building before the downstairs had been renovated. So the building was actually built in 1915 and the upstairs is 4,500 square feet. They're asking $250,000. It has zero bedrooms and zero bathrooms. Sounds like a great start. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Huh? Where we going, buddy? Well, that yeah. is a good omen. He's very interested in your office. Yeah, office. so we were thinking this could be the yeah. office. Okay. And then right. that way you could keep residents separate from work. Makes sense. Well, there he goes. He's going to explore the space. Yeah. Oh, he's excited. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, Let's step in here. Yeah. All right. This is a great place to start. Ah, And you nice. really get a sense for the design of this upstairs space here. These windows. Oh, oh what's up? Hey, a... Where have you been? What do you think? You like it? Well, he's done with the place. He likes it. Apparently. Yeah. yeah. You ready? This, I think, would be great as the primary bathroom. Bathroom, and that okay. door would be closed off. So completely separate from the entry. You wouldn't access this room from there anymore. We build a toilet closet into this corner, build a walk-in shower here, and then we build a wall on Back this here. side of the windows. Okay. And we would put vanities against that wall where the closet build-out is. You know, we've designed it around leaving the windows as is. Right. Because they're so awesome. If this were your apartment and we built out a kitchen in this huge space, we could build it like an L shape and then have a walk-in pantry through that door over there and then living room at that end. Makes sense. Dining right here. Yep. You'd have to have a huge dining table. You do some sort of glorious skylight up here to Ooh. kind of Ooh, yeah. uh, just accent the table. You know, it'd be great to be able to sit at the table, look up, see some stars at night. So speaking of stars, this wouldn't have a rooftop option for outdoor space. But? But All right. it's got these big double doors to nowhere. So let's make it go to something. Yeah. It's a little hard to imagine maybe because we've got the stores downstairs have their signage here, but you really could have a big balcony between these two signs. It'd be about 365,000 for everything. And uh, I mean, Zeus seems to like it. The Robinson building had great potential, I thought, but the Raspberry building just 
you can see the vision e easier with the rooftop deck. So the Raspberry building's perfect. The Raspberry building. Yeah. It's going to get significantly loftier. We're not touching the kitchen, which is new for us. So we're just going to focus on the living space. All right, these walls are not original. They're not load bearing. So this should go quick. Hey, this is how you enter the bathroom. Yeah. Shoot, yeah, look at this. That's great. Damn. We're tiling the bathroom. And now Katie's got some of the subfloor up looking at the plumbing, making sure that everything's gonna work out. You can see where the shower's gonna go. It's feeling very lofty. It's getting there. This is very much his style, something I have no experience with. Michael McKinnon Architecture is open for business. Oh, the sign makes it real. We thought it was so cool, it looks like it's wood. It's but... actually PVC. Less maintenance, I love that. The office is moving ready. It is empty, white space, you can decorate how you wish. That yep. window is gonna be Zeus's perch. I'm trying my best not to look at the rooftop right now. Do you wanna just walk upstairs so you can actually walk on the rooftop? I wanna so? run upstairs. Yeah. I know you Come do. On, let's go. Oh, go Zeus. here we go. Let's go, boy. He's ready. Go to your room, buddy. Hey, you wanna go in your room? Come on. Go see your let's room. Let's see what we got. Bro. Rad. Oh, this is Check awesome. Check this out, Zeus. There you go. Ooh. What do you think? Yep. You like you it? You like this? Maybe we should have put Exploring a little rug pad everything. under there. This is dead on. His room is better than any room I've ever I had. I'll never get any sleep with all these toys in here. <laughs> this squeaky crocodile is hilarious. Speaking of toys, open up that top skinny cabinet. Shoot. That's a laundry chute. Shoot. Shoot. Exactly. Yeah. Shoot, yeah, it is. <laughs> That's perfect. That's legit. I like yeah. that. That's yeah. awesome. So we can leave Zeus in here, but he can still be a part of the party. Oh, you dutched it. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to remember words right now. The shower, I just can't quite comprehend just yet. It is so, so cool. Yeah. If the slatted wall is all about the negative space to me, and the wood is a little bit of warmth and character that makes the room stop feeling cold. This is perfect. And I thought that the tile floor would make the most sense if it felt kind of like concrete. Spot on. And a There's laundry chute. There it is. is. <laughs> Sensory overload right now. The wall. The wall surprised the heck out of me. The light passes through it, and the light itself becomes a, an element in yep. the room. And I'm glad we went with the vertical and the horizontal contrast. Yeah. We wanted a way that you could have your two turntables out displayed, but you need to be able to put things away. These are timbre doors. This is the first time we've ever done this. Y'all built that? Yeah, yeah, like we built is, this in the- That is gorgeous. The slatted walls was the inspiration. And then once I learned about the Silver Spider, <laughs> I, uh, I knew then you needed the console table. Oh, yeah. And everything is customized completely and can be customized further. Yeah. Oh, everything's got its spot. Keep going. I am so ready to fill these up. Oh. They just keep going. Yeah. This is cool. Our cabinet guy, Dustin Cook, came up with the idea for the vent covers. Great job on getting that duct to disappear. Keeps going all the way into the bedroom. Oh, this is, this is how you do a bedroom. All the light in here, too. Mm -hmm. Isn't it great? Oh, this is awesome. So we took down the walls mm -hmm. to give you one huge bedroom. Do you like the colors? Spot on, yeah. OK. We played with stains on the two different wood types together. It looks so good. Yeah. Floors are as they always were. I like the element of imperfect. I'm really glad we kind of kept the history of it. The space is open from front to back, but I still have my privacy when needed. Privacy when you're having a rooftop party. I've got a rooftop? You forgot about it? You don't want to go see this? I didn't this? forget about my rooftop. This is amazing. This is the reason you bought it, right? <laughs> it is, and it's just like I envisioned, but better. Oh man, I'll never go back inside now.
The rooftop is sloped so it can shed water, but we thought building these two deck areas gives you some level ground. Now I got four spaces. Yeah. You yeah. know, instead of the one monotonous long yeah. space. Oh, this is awesome, y'all. Ha <laughs> ha, I own a TV. I love that it's art. This is a slab of spalted maple. It's book match. Yeah, it looks better closed, which says a lot, I think, to the piece. It was a little unusual for us to do an architect who specifically is skilled in like commercial design and applying those kinds of design concepts of very modern and sleek and minimalist to this building that we're incredibly familiar with right. was very challenging and unique for us. The more people that can work on a project, I just the better it turns out. I'm glad you're gonna have a permanent presence down here, not just walking. <laughs> you got the building for 230,000. We did $100,000 on the renovation, so all in, $330,000. I think it's a sweet deal for what I've got.